Hello! Welcome to the final not seasonal campaign mission for this game. This game being Planet Coaster. This mission being Coaster King. Coasters! Build increasingly difficult coasters to satisfy the Coaster King. Probably noticed a theme with coasters going on. Now we have a coaster. We start with a coaster. Comes out of the mouth. It's a little bit weird the way it does that, but we will ride that one to start this off. But before we do that, we're going to click the test button and then increase the number of cars per train so that we can get people flowing through this thing a little bit faster. Unfortunately, it does have to test itself. So we will be on the ride camera while it does this. Because it's a pretty nice ride. It's, it's, you know, fairly leaning towards scenic more than anything else, but it's really cool. I like this coaster. Fairly basic, stats aren't great, but, it, you know, it's cool. Who doesn't like a coaster that starts off like this? And then it slows down right at the top. Get a nice view of the entire park as you roll around this part. And then it goes down for the rest of the ride. It's a pretty simple ride. Mostly here for the scenery, I feel, I feel like. but got lots of triggers, it's got well-utilized brakes there to slow the ride just enough. So it just barely catches on the uh, station there. But anyway, that's a cool coaster. I like it. Open it back up so that people can actually get on the thing. People were saying uh, that it's a good value. I'm not going to mess with the price too much for now. But this is our park. This is our entrance. It's a neat little entrance. I don't know who this is. It's just a guest, apparently. It's got all these sweet signs. There's apparently the gulpy mascot. Was this octo octopus? It's just an octopus. All right. Neat double pathway uh, walkthroughs here, which I don't actually know how they build those without them attaching in the actual game itself. But you know, like this entire entryway. I don't know if you can actually build an entryway that looks like this within the game's own systems. Like this part of it, fine. This part you could easily do with, with some uh, tweaking and stuff like that. You could probably manage to get this part. But then the two side by side, I don't know how you do that. And then this entire chunk right here is, is interesting. But anyway, this is our park. We have a mechanic to start with. He doesn't have anything to do. Uh, and we have three King Coaster dudes. They have interesting voice acting, as you probably noticed. We have no track rides. And we only have simple basic rides. We're going to build a couple of these just so that there are some additional rides here to begin with. That people won't complain quite so much. I have to get a pathway for that. That's obviously not four meters. How big do you think that is? Eight? No. Six? Yes. So let's just big a build, sorry, not bigger. Build a big old six meter wide path all the way down there. We'll probably have another coaster on this side. In fact, that might be where we build our first coaster, kind of mirror what's going on with this one. I might even duplicate the building over to here. And we'll use this little dingly path for that. But for now, let us build out some paths like this for now. I don't know how many chunks that was. In fact, because I don't know how many chunks that was and I want to keep this mirrored as much as physically possible, I'm just going to take off all of this stuff. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's build our rides then. We'll build this one because it's got decent stats. It's probably going to make people vomit everywhere. Can I not actually? It's because it's not flattening the land, is it? No. Flatten terrain. There we go. Alright, we want the entrance from the main path here and we want the exit from the not main path here. So we'll just do something like this for now. leave us some room for scenery or something. I don't know. What kind of paths do we have? Just normal gray ones? Yeah. Simple and gray. 
And I would like the station to be that color too, but the station is not that color. I may just go straight out. Like, let's just do that. Straight out, make it like nine bucks instead of seven, and then we'll build the other one on the other side. Wild blue is unfortunately slightly larger, so. I have to bear that in mind when positioning it so it can get the cues about the same length. I don't want to fiddle too much with those. I really sort of wish that wasn't actually attaching the way it was, but. I could put it here just so it's not doing that. There we go. Open that up. Make this 11 instead of 9. And we're going to need some food and stuff. Get all the basics going first, you know, before we start building any coasters. Whoa, right. Don't need that to be 5 anymore. That's fine. May as well speed the game up for now. Pork benches. Really don't want the park benches on the main path itself. If people need to rest when they get off the ride, we'll actually probably just put two side by side on every ride. And then we'll have some on the main path, and then we can have some like down here that people can sit on next to the big old statues. There you go. have a few when they get off the coaster. And we need some bins around. Eventually we're going to have food and these people are savages and they're just going to throw their food everywhere and I will hate them for it. Why is that... Why was that glowing like that? Is it just the reflection on the, on the wood of something that was very red for some reason? This coaster is going to be making us almost all of our money, just by default. The queue time is actually fairly long, unfortunately, but, you know. I kind of just want to use, like, large clock tower. But I don't really like how large clock tower looks. I'm going to be sort of lazy with the scenery here. You get a sweet entrance with the castle or something or another, and you guys get like a sweet... Actually, I kind of want to sink that down. Just a little bit. We'll add some trees and stuff too, why the heck not? Scenery, trees. Is there only, like, one blueprint set of trees? No, okay. What do you mean you... Oh, you'll build it there, okay. And for consistency's sake, we're going to use these kinds of trees. In fact, we're actually going to go back to doing custom trees, because I hate that. What are these? These are alpine firs and stuff? No, these are blue firs. Black spruces. Yeah. there. Get a couple black spruce trees around if I can build them. I like my trees nice and dense, you know? The, the game's blueprints don't actually like having lots of dense trees. But I like my trees dense. I wish I had like some additional trees. I use birch trees. Do birch trees even grow in the same general area as blue firs and stuff? Is there is there another kind of tree? Alpine fir. That probably grows in sort of sort of the same region, possibly, maybe. I don't know. I need some some variety, you know. Pop you down there, why not? Over there. I don't need another one of these. People are vomiting everywhere. We don't actually have, before this gets out of hand, we don't actually have a janitor. I 
Anyway, I don't know if this is accurate tree-based population densities, but you know, it's, it's, the, it's the trees we want. They both should be 100. Whoa, with that stutter. The queue is full. Alright, now we need some shops and facilities. What do we have? We don't have any ATMs. Or do we have ATM? No. Don't I have... Don't I have a blueprint that I made? For the uh, fairy tale thing? That was like just both of it was it was food and drink, I thought. Good at all. No. Is it just because I don't have the kind of drink it needs? So, oh wait, no, there's a my blueprints button. Sometimes my brain doesn't work very well, does it? Let's set up a little food and drink stall over here. Sort of clips into that, but that's okay. Food and drink there. I'm tempted to put food and drink on the other side too. We'll probably do that eventually. Meantime, put some of those down. Put a couple bins around. Again, people are savages. They'll throw their food everywhere if they feel like it. That should be enough bins, let's be honest. This thing just induces large quantities of vomiting. Oh, it's because it's 4.6. That one's 4.4. They're both real high. The Coaster King has broken down. We can't have that. Anyway, let's look at something here. Not queuing that long. Queue is full. Cosmic Cow Milkshakes looks busy. I was going to say that should settle down, but I don't think that will ever settle down. We don't have any restrooms. Fairy tale village toilets. Oh, that's the. That's fine. Put that there. Still connected. Sort of wonky on the terrain, but we'll put some trees around and stuff to fix that. Alright. We should build a coaster. That's the point of this scenario. We already have a Sprint 500, that's what that thing is. So we're going to build the American Arrow here. Probably going to put it over here. And we could put it underground just like the other one. It is very difficult to build underground, though. Particularly considering this isn't a launched one. This isn't a launched coaster, I'm, I should say. Like, how... Is that off of the ground? It is off of the ground. I want to try and match these up as best I can here. So it'd be something around there. I could have the chain lift at the end of the ride instead of at the start and have it drop into the uh, underground. Which would make it end up like here-ish. Probably. Is there a button for workers track supports? Um, camera? I don't care. Auto tunnel, that's what I want. Excuse me. Is that already auto tunneling? Well, don't auto tunnel yet then. Ooh. Or is that... No, that's not auto-tunneling. Oh yeah, it is, just a little bit. Well, we're going to want this to drop underground. So 10 meters. Start dropping it like 20. And we may as well go ahead and start auto-tunneling it as well. It's going to hit that tree, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this can drop it. Yeah, this is the coaster that goes to 110. We don't want to go to 110. That kills people. Just start sloping it all the way down. So it's going to be obstructed by this tree. Let's move the tree. Move the bush, just to be sure. Let's 
Is there a attach and rotate? I'm pretty much just going to have to do this blind. You know what, actually? Hold on. That auto digs already, so I'd like to not do that as much as possible. But let's make this as long as we can, 20 meters. If it goes straight to zero, does that kill people instantaneously? I would like to know this. Oh, well. I don't know, because it doesn't last long enough to do anything with this. If we do that. That seems alright, actually. And then straighten it. Is this going the direction I want it to? I think it is. Oh no, don't do that, actually. Now straight. Alright, anyway. Let's do some stuff here. I could have done a Norwegian loop off of the station. No, that wouldn't go right. I could do a sweet pretzel because it's underground. My coaster is not going to have any scenery. I'm not going to, not going to go underground for the scenery on this one. I don't think. Like, how big is this? How big does it need to be? Once I build it, it's going to terraform the terrain. So I don't want to mess with it too much. And also, this is expensive. So, I make it big. I mean, obstructed. Is it hitting the other coaster? I think it's hitting the other coaster. It's still obstructed. What part of this... Hold on. Let's, let's go diving. There's going to be a lot of mouse wheel movement. Whoa, where are we? We're in the abyss. Oh yeah, there's no lights down here. It looks like it's clipping something up there. This, look, this looks real weird down here. This is going to look great on video. We're just in the abyss now. Well, if I can't do that... What if I just did a huge Norwegian drop? Oh yeah, see, here's the other coaster. So we, we did clip into that. Because now I'm over here. No, that causes vomia. Vomia? Vomit. Vomiting? Nausea. There we go. So that's what's happening, is it's clipping into something around here. I don't think it's clipping into the coaster. I think it's clipping into the scenery. It'd be kind of neat if we could see them like this. I need to turn off this thing that moves my camera. No, height markers, yes. Free camera. Where are we? There we go. So if we build that, what's the, what's it look like? It's stuck somewhere, isn't it? Hold on. I can't see where the coaster is, but it's stuck somewhere. Most likely somewhere on this thing. Stop, start. Okay, so now it's not stuck anymore, but now my, now my camera is way over here. Are we still intersecting slightly so I can... Yeah, I can see the coaster. Neat. I also made a hole into the sky over here on accident. I can use this for a different coaster, and we have just a bunch of intersecting coasters down here. Is this coaster still running? Yeah, there it goes. That looks cool, I like that. Anyway, back to having no idea what I'm doing with this coaster, because it's underground. Get 
could do a sweet corkscrew. No, I can't because it's clipping into itself or what? Or scenery. I don't know. What about this way? No. I think it's clipping into the scenery over here. So where is where am I? What if we just go straight a little bit? This this part of the video is gonna look great. Sidewinder is gonna end up pointing it that way again, which is actually where I want it to go. There's a hole here apparently. Okay. Should probably do some sort of lighting for this thing. Does it get stuck? No. It has some ridiculous ridiculous nausea levels going. Pretty sure this is gonna clip back into this if we go up too much, so. Alright, now where are we? Way over here. You can just barely see the coaster through the wall again. Does he get stuck here? I don't know. If it does, it doesn't anymore. Right, there should be a hole in the wall. There we go. We can sneak out of. Now we're over here. Next to some trees. Are those trees going to be in the way? Why, yes, they are. <laughs> they, got, they immediately hit the tree and just fall off. It's great. All right. Back to editing this thing. No way, we need to we need that to even it. There we go. No tilt, no nothing. Go straight immediately after that because we need speed, otherwise that's gonna get stuck there. auto-tunneling. How does that flatten so quickly? Oh, I'm still on. Still on free camera. This isn't going to be a particularly good coaster unless I can do something over here. Which I don't know if I can. Can I do a fancier drop? No, not Sidewinder. What's it called? Dive Loop. No. That's not what I want. I'm pretty sure there's a... This is not Norwegian Loop. Pretzel Loop? No, that just does that. No, that's the thing the jets do. I mean, half loop down technically is what is a thing, but that's not what I wanted. Snake dive. Is that it? That was it, but that's huge. Vertical inline roll. I could just do a helix. I think that'll end up giving me a little bit more speed than just going straight. And then it evens out. Should be doing the test. Is it stuck somewhere? some decent speed there, but we're going to end up burning a lot of that speed off. Can I make you much smaller? We don't have nearly the speed to do that. Well, you know what? Let's go up another level then, shall we? And by another level, I mean another couple levels, apparently. Ooh, this way. Then straight. Actually, no, we did... Uh, Helix down.
level it out, start dropping it off fairly drastically. There we go. Now I can do stuff like a sidewinder the other way. There we go. Only that big will work. Yeah. Mix it up with an incline drop that way, and we'll go up a little for some air. I don't know. I'm not actually looking at the coaster requirements. I'm just kind of building a coaster at this point and seeing what I can come up with. Actually, we'll go up a fairly decent amount and get some air time here. And then we're going to drop kind of dramatically and see if that causes anyone to dramatically vomit. Vomit? Vomit? Well, it does go up pretty high there. And we'll just do an incline one of these. This is a long coaster. So we're going to need a block section at some point. I don't think it has the speed for a loop, but I really kind of want to do a loop. I also kind of want to do another one of these, to be honest. But I don't think it has the speed for that, and I don't think that'll be very exciting. So let's not. Dive loop? No. Half loop? No. You know, actually. Do a... Incline 45. Can you make that? You can. Not terribly happy about it afterwards, but you can make it, so... Well, that's not the way I want that to be tilted. Straighten this out a little bit. Put a block station on there. Some will make the release speed fairly high. It's already tilted down, isn't it? Yeah. Pop that there. There you go. Alright, let's see what the stats are when it finishes. They drop to basically nothing during this climb, but... You know, I could make that faster, actually. Let's see what the stats look like. Not particularly good, and the nausea is not huge, so... Let's make the chain speed 14 and see what it does. I'm liking the music going on. That's going to raise everything, because it's coming off of that hill with more speed there. Ooh, that's better. All greens. I'll take it. We have to test it again, unfortunately, because we're in a block section up for two. Oh, well, we can have three trains? Oh, I know why we can have three trains, because one starts on the chain lift. Does that mess with the ratings, though? I don't think it needs three trains. That's just going to be too expensive, and one of them is hanging on the chain lift over there. Which just seems like a safety hazard to me. Entrance over here, exit over here. I don't... how's that lined up? It actually goes straight out. And then down. Except without turning erratically. It's not really the same path, but it'll do... And this one just went out and then... turned. And we can just do that. Easy pee- oh no, easy peasy. And then someone drops something in the kitchen, but anyway. Let's open that bad boy up. Let's charge, I don't know, 15, 16 for it. And then let's put some benches over here. Pardon the... Oh, I did a thing, apparently. 
put some benches over here. Uh, sorry for the noise. And we'll put. Oh, they have a third bench over there. That's what it is. I was gonna say put a trash can, but we don't need one of those. So we should have two coasters. How long is this? It's only 70 seconds, 922. It looks like it's performing the way I want it to. So people line up, that train leaves. That's not quite the way I wanted it. Three trains still would have had to hold up though, so. Don't need any of that. Track scenery rating, very low. That's got a high scenery rating though. Could really probably do with some lighting in there. I might screw under the lighting on my own time, but for now, let us duplicate that building and see if we can attach it to this. Oops, that was the Windows key. It's gonna complain that it's clipping into it, isn't it? Oh no, it built it. It doesn't quite perfectly line up. I should fix this, otherwise it's going to bother me. So let's do the advanced move. I think it just needs to move this way a little. Like that. No, not quite. Look, alright, I gotta... I wanna line this up. That's fairly close, let's be honest. What's this side look like now? Now that side's over. And the whole thing really needs to move this way a little bit. Sort of like that. Sort of. Yeah, that's probably as close as I'm going to get that, so we'll take it. That should have a better Q rating now, anyway. Not much better, but still. I think it's already making quite a lot of money. How's this thing doing? Not much at all. Both of those are taking... I should check on my staff. You two are actually doing fine. Those three, however, have a very high workload. So let's bump them up a little. They can entertain our guests more efficiently or something. But anyway, this thing's making loads of money. You can't block... Well, you can block section this one, but... We need to refurbish that at some point. I'll set both of these coasters to every 10 minutes. I don't really care about the rest of them. Uh, we can block section this one, but you can't add a second train to it, so its income is going to be a little low regardless. Anyway, we did an objective. Apparently we did two objectives. We must have completed that both of those objectives with this one, didn't we? It's the only coaster we built, so... Six excitement, four fear, just barely reached those. 750 meters long, obviously reached. Now this one's gonna be interesting. Doesn't exceed 45, 40 miles an hour, but it has five seconds of air time, so... Let's see what we can come up with there. This one's just gonna have to be huge, this final one here. Eight inversions, I can do that. I really like inversions anyway, so... This one's gonna be pretty easy, too. I could probably complete this one and this one at the same time. Because they both have an average speed requirement. I may even be able to complete this one at the same time. You have to be real low on that nausea, though, so... Would have to be careful while maintaining speed, which means a lot of really big inversions. How much airtime does this actually have? 1.1 seconds. Oh well. It's making loads of money. We're basically, we have essentially unlimited money now. For all intents and purposes. That thing broke down. I should probably refurbish this. Because it's going to keep doing that. You know what? Just make everything every 10 minutes so it doesn't break down as much. Once this is refurbished, it should not break down for a while. It is currently being refurbished, I believe. 
There we go. Anyway. Coasters. Let's get to work, shall we? Uh, we actually, you know what? Let's get some research for different coasters. I don't want to duplicate coasters, so... I'm actually going to cut the video while I do some research here, and I will be back. You, there might be some extra thrill rides or something around, I don't know, I'll probably build something. We'll see. Just figured I'd update, because this is basically what I'm doing. Just, just researching. Can't miss anything. I could, I put some more scenery in, just some trees. It looks a little weird from above, but in the, when you're getting in the line, it looks fine. I could probably add some trees here to cover. Or maybe some rocks or something. But uh, when you're in the line, it looks all right. Just lots of lots of scenery around. A little gap right there that goes out into the abyss. But you can see the coaster. I could do other things with it. But anyway. You know? Scenery. I haven't done anything in the pit of abyss and doom down there where that train goes. There's no lighting. But I added some trees. I added a second uh, food and drink area over here. I put some more benches because people were vomiting. They're still vomiting. Don't worry about that. We have a lot of people in this intersection, though. And I think a lot of that is because of these uh, entertainers cause people to stop. But it looks like if they're being entertained, they don't cause traffic issues. Like, they, they don't seem to have proper collision. The, the people will just walk through them, as opposed to, you can see it here, they get stuck on each other. But they're entertaining to seem to walk through, so it doesn't cause any issues. At least not that I've seen. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. There's that hole I made earlier. Apparently I made it a full hole that goes all the way back down in now, but whatever. Back to research I go. It's a lot of money. Did a bunch of research. Figured, you know, let's ride this roller coaster I made. I put some lights down there. It's not particularly scenic, but I did put some lighting down there so you can actually see what the heck is going on. Having said that, though, let's pause, because the nighttime it looks a little bit better. The, some of the lights that are close to the surface seem to not turn on unless it's nighttime, so I don't really know what's going on there. So we'll just make it... that's noon. We'll just make it midnight. 12 a.m., there you go. And then stop doing whatever that's doing. Get the ride camera going again, and I think it's P to pause. There you go. And now we can ride it. It actually hangs right next to the other roller coaster, which is kind of neat, except they're not tightened, they're not timed properly to go at the same time, so. That's the other roller coaster coming straight at you, and it would be pretty neat if it hanged there or hung there when the uh, the other roller coaster was showing up. That would be pretty cool. I have not timed it to do that, and it's very, very difficult to time roller coasters to do anything in sync with each other, so. There's another feature that is missing that uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon had, is the ability to synchronize, as far as I can tell, the ability to synchronize two coasters that are next to each other, or multiple coasters that are next to each other. And it would be really, really neat if it had that ability. But anyway, there's the coaster I made. Um, if I hit that and then scroll, there we go. It'll poke me out of the floor. It does unfortunately cause some strange lighting through the terrain here. Which is a little weird that it does that, but whatever. It's not really that big of an issue. I could just delete this light here because it's off during the day anyway. The first two are off during the day. So I could just delete those and it'll have no effect on anything, except it'll fix the exterior lighting. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. I haven't done anything else. I'm just, just putting lights down there to pass the time while I research more things. Once those three finish researching, we'll probably go ahead and finish off the rest of the objectives here. That should be plenty. Plenty of coaster types to do so. The boa's pretty good. One of them in here we got, I thought. It is just the boa. I guess it's just the boa. 
I was going to say, one of the ones we got is uh, pretty good for inversions and stuff like that, but I guess it's that. We'll know soon because uh, the ones we're researching here, one of them is hang a Dangling Delights, which I think is the one that stops you right at the edge of the... right at the apex of the hill before it drops. And I'm pretty sure that one inverts a lot, like all the time. But anyway, just give an update there on what I did for the past 30 minutes as I put lights in there and waited for research to occur. We have unlimited money. We could do nothing and just accrue money forever. So not really paying attention to the part. 